If you're not interested in earning at least a million dollars a year wholesaling real estate, don't watch this video. It will be a waste of your time. But if you do have a big vision for yourself, I'm gonna outline the very best path, in my opinion, to go from your first deal all the way to earning a million dollars a year. This roadmap, if you will, has several growth cycles or phases with new skills to learn and master as well as plenty of obstacles to overcome, but make no mistake, with wholesale real estate, you can start with nothing and build a million dollar a year business, and I think you can do it faster than any other business model. At least that I've seen, and on this video, I'm gonna give you a detailed blueprint for how to do it, but first, if you don't know me, I'm Jerry Norton. I make millions of dollars a year wholesaling and flipping houses, and here on my YouTube channel, I show you how to do the same. So if you wanna be a flipping genius like me and live your dream life, subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. There are actually three growth phases of a wholesale business that I'm gonna walk you through, but before we dive in, there are a few critical things I need to clarify. First, I realize there is more than one way to skin a cat. The process from starting with nothing to growing a thriving seven-figure wholesale business can look different from person to person, so I'm not saying one size fits all or that what I'm gonna outline for you in this video is the only way. What I am saying is after 20 years in the industry, making millions of dollars a year and personally helping thousands of wholesalers scale to a million plus, I'm convinced the path I'm gonna outline is the smartest and the fastest way. Second, it's important to understand that the only way to become a million dollar producer is to stop chasing deals and instead build a business that does deals. This reminds me of two of my friends who are both doctors. One works 100 hours a week practicing medicine. He leaves his house for work when it's still dark outside and he gets home from work when it's dark outside and he earns about $500,000 a year. My other doctor friend doesn't actively practice medicine anymore. He owns 30 doctor practices in Texas. He's my neighbor where I live in Puerto Rico and I usually bump into him at the beach club with his kids in the afternoon in the middle of the week. He earns about $10 million a year. See the difference? One has a high paying job and the other has a thriving business. Here's what I've noticed in wholesale real estate. $250,000 or so in annual wholesale income is where the majority of full-time wholesalers cap out and it doesn't matter what methods they use. There are two primary reasons why this happens. First, they are mentally only set to earn $250,000 a year. That's where their financial thermostat is programmed at. And two, they fail to learn how to transition from a practitioner to a business owner. If you want to be a good wholesaler who makes good money, stop here and get to work chasing deals. But if you want to create what I refer to as a printing press that makes a million dollars a year or more without you doing all the heavy lifting, giving you both time freedom and financial freedom, then you have to transition from a solo operator that wholesales houses to a business that wholesales houses. Keep watching and I'll show you how. The third thing I wanna point out before breaking down the three growth phases is you have to get your first deal before anything else makes sense. Your first deal is the proof of concept. It's proving to yourself that wholesaling is a real thing and with your first deal, it doesn't matter how much you make. What matters is going through the process of wholesaling a house from start to finish and seeing it happen firsthand. If you're like me, when I first started, you probably have time but no money, or at least some time and no money. That means your first deal needs to come from a zero cost marketing method. Later in phase three, when it's time to scale, you'll spend thousands of dollars every month generating high quality leads. But in the beginning, most can't and really shouldn't spend money on marketing. There are several free ways to find distressed sellers, but the very best method, in my opinion, is on market with real estate agents. Now, this is often called agent outreach. I started using agents to get deals 20 years ago when I first started, and it's remained a staple method in my business all of these years. No one is better at it than me because no one has been doing it longer than me. I was also the first to teach how to use agents to get wholesale deals, and for the longest time, I was the only one who taught this method. In recent years, wholesaling on market has become more popular, but I'm gonna tell you right now, on market with agents is not the end all be all. It's only one marketing channel and it won't be enough to build a million dollar business. You'll see what I mean, so keep watching. The reason finding wholesale deals on market is the best method to get your first deal is because these properties are easily accessible for free, which is a big deal. Once a distressed seller agrees to use an agent to sell his home, that property gets listed on public sites like Zillow, Redfin, and Realtor.com. 
The key is being able to quickly identify which properties are distressed and then creating relationships with those listing agents so they're motivated to work with you. I did a step-by-step -step breakdown video on how to instantly find agent deals and how to get them to bring you their best deals. I'll put the link to that video in the description below for you. Now to put on market in the proper context of what it takes to get your first deal, assuming you follow exactly what I teach, in the beginning, plan on making 100 offers to get your first profitable wholesale deal. In fact, I did a video showing exactly how to make five offers a day, that's 25 a week or 100 in a month. So if you wanna get your first deal in the next 30 days, watch that video and do exactly what I show. I'll put the link to that video in the description below for you. Now, like I said, on market will get you your first deal with no marketing cost and without any overhead. Just you, all by yourself, calling and making offers to agents, that's it. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, let's dig into the three phases to go from your first deal to a million dollars a year. After you've done that first deal, you enter phase one. Phase one is consistently transacting every month. It's doing one, two, maybe three deals per month, which should result in around 250,000 or so a year. And guess what? The marketing method in phase one is exactly the same as getting your first deal on market with agents, but with one critical modification. Now, instead of just calling distressed properties actively for sale, now you cold call all agents in your market and you implement a consistent follow-up process. This is where you create momentum. As you do deals, you get better at your craft, you get faster at analyzing deals, and you get more comfortable talking to agents and making offers. Momentum is how you scale to two to three deals a month by yourself with no marketing budget. The key is consistently calling new agents day in and day out and asking if they have any distressed properties that you can make cash offers on and then following up every week with those agents so you stay front and center when they do get distressed listings. The goal is to become the go-to investor agents call when they get distressed listings in your market. Now, this is exactly what happened with one of my wholesale partners, Jared Hetler in Richmond, Virginia. Now, in Jared's first year wholesaling, he earned around 300,000 as a solo operator with zero marketing budget, exclusively doing on market with agents. Here's his three-step process. Step one, Jared sends 100 to 200 texts every day to agents in his market. From that, he gets about 15 or so responses per 100 texts he sends. Step two, he immediately calls the agents that responded and lets them know he's looking for distressed properties that he can buy for cash. Step three, Jared puts them in a weekly text follow-up. And like I said, he did 300,000 in wholesale profits following that three-step process. Now, Jared's a stud and his success is due to his consistency. He puts in the work every day and he gets results. Right now, we're scaling his business to a million and then we'll keep going. Now, I've had Jared on my channel several times. I'll put a link to an interview with him in the description below so you can learn more about how he did it. Okay, next is phase two, where you jump to the 500,000 in annual revenue. And this phase is really just a bridge to step three. Don't do phase two unless you intend on going to phase three. It's not worth it. Better to stay in phase one. Phase two is all or nothing. Either build a business or don't, but don't half-ass it. There's very little difference between phase two making 500 a year and phase three making a million a year. And there's even a phase four making a million a month. Maybe we'll talk about it. Anyways, in order to go to phase two and beyond, you have to branch out from on market and start marketing direct to seller or what we call off market sellers. Now off market means you're going directly to the seller on properties not listed with agents. Look. Agents are awesome. They're my favorite method, but the truth is there's only so many agents in a market and there are only so many distressed listings in a market. That means it's extremely difficult to scale past two to three deals a month with agents in any given market. On top of that, it's also difficult to carve out more than 10,000 per deal or so in wholesale fees because agents are gonna protect some of that equity and they aren't gonna allow big discounts to happen. Whereas off market, direct to seller, there's an unlimited supply and you can get the big discounts. The trade-off is transitioning to off-market can be overwhelming because you introduce a marketing budget and you add more moving parts, so be smart about how you do it. In phase two, you'll introduce another marketing channel that should produce another 250,000 or so a year, and the easiest and fastest way is to cold call and text off-market leads. Big picture, here's how it works. 
Step one, you get a list of distressed seller leads, such as pre-foreclosure or vacant properties. Once you get that list, step two is to skip trace the list to get their phone numbers. Once you have the phone numbers, step three is to cold call and text those leads. Now, I did a video that does a deep dive into cold calling and texting. I'll put the link to that video in the description below for you. And FYI, the best data provider hands down for off-market and on-market leads is a software called PropWire. PropWire has over 57 million leads nationwide, and it's absolutely free to search and download as many leads as you want. With PropWire, you can also skip trace, and it's really inexpensive. A thousand phone numbers is like a hundred bucks. It's super easy to use. Check it out yourself. Go to joinpropwire.com. Now, cold calling and texting is not something you personally want to take on in phase two. Remember, you're building a business now. Instead, you're going to hire a virtual assistant or VA to do this for you. A VA is an overseas worker who will do the texting and cold calling for you. As of this recording, a texting VA may cost you $4 to $6 an hour, and a good cold caller will cost you anywhere from $10 to $12 an hour. This is also where you hire your first commission sales position, either an acquisitions rep to close deals with sellers or a dispositions rep to close deals with cash buyers. Whichever you personally enjoy doing more, keep doing that at first and delegate the other. The good news is about your sales reps is they get paid from proceeds only when you close deals. So cold calling and texting adds another two to three deals a month or another $250,000 in wholesale income, bringing you to $500,000. And since you pick up some overhead costs and you add some management to your plate in phase two, you desperately need to learn cash management and start developing good leadership skills. Phase two is the beginning of a lifelong investment in yourself. I personally spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in my personal development. For example, I'm part of a $25,000 annual mastermind that exclusively focuses on how to be a better leader and how to hire and manage people. John Maxwell said, don't show me your dreams, show me your teams. Never forget, your business will only grow to the extent you do. By the way, if you're already in phase one and you're ready to transition into phase two and you wanna keep going to the million dollar producer level, be sure to stay to the end of this video. I wanna share with you a unique opportunity to partner with me and shortcut your path to the top. More on that later. After phase two, it's time for the big leagues, phase three. In phase three, you're gonna add two more marketing channels and you're gonna replace yourself from the daily operations and move into what we call the owner's box. First, let's talk about how to quickly add another 500,000 in annual revenue. In phases one and two, you mostly did outbound marketing because it's free or low cost, but the secret to really exploding is to start doing inbound marketing. Inbound marketing is when sellers call you. When sellers call you, their intent or motivation is higher, which means you can convert deals faster and for bigger profits. The trade-off is inbound is more advanced and more expensive. So what are they? The most common are direct mail, which is sending letters and postcards, and digital or online advertising on Google or Facebook called pay-per-click or PPC for short. And as I'm sure you've guessed by now, I have detailed videos about each of these methods. You know the drill, link in the description. Direct mail and PPC will add another 500,000 or so to your income, bringing you to a million dollars a year in revenue. But remember, that will only be possible with a good team. And again, the goal is to replace yourself from the daily operations. Your next hire is a sales rep taking over acquisitions or dispo from you. You'll also hire a leads manager. A leads manager makes sure that all the warm leads are getting handled and distributed appropriately to your team. This could be a VA. You'll also need a transaction coordinator or TC. His or her job is to make sure deals get to the finish line. They manage closings between sellers, cash buyers, and title companies. The other position you need to fill in phase three is a relationship manager. This is a sales position dedicated solely to agent outreach and other relationship lead sources like attorneys or other wholesalers. At this point, you'll have a small team working together, generating leads, talking to sellers and agents, making offers, getting contracts, and closing deals. Now, it may take some time to create a well-oiled machine, but that becomes your new role, leading and managing your team, not transacting. At this level, you'll be at the million dollar a year level, and that is where things get fun. There is a level four. Level four is the rare exception. It's where a million dollars a year in revenue becomes a million dollars a month in revenue. 
Yes, that is possible. There are wholesale operations doing a million a month in revenue. And here's the crazy part. They aren't that much different than the phase three million dollar a year producers. The biggest difference is they are in a higher price market. So their assignment fees are much bigger and they are willing to spend six figures a month in marketing. And most importantly, they think big. They're great leaders and they have killer teams. Now there is a shortcut to get from your first deal to the million dollar levels three and four that I wished I knew and understood when I was building my wholesale business. And that is to create strategic partnerships. Now what is a strategic partnership? A strategic partnership is when you align with someone already at the million dollar level who has the systems, processes, marketing budgets that you can tap into. And I refer to this as the framework. Creating a successful framework on your own is time consuming and expensive. It's like building a house where you have to start by cutting down the trees and milling the logs into two by fours before you can even start building the house. A strategic partnership is like having the lumber delivered to the job site with a set of plans and a framing crew ready to start building the house. And that's why I partner with Cody Hoffine's Joe Homebuyer franchise. Now together with Cody and Mark Stubler, Joe Homebuyer is the framework to build a million dollar wholesale business. Combining proven tools, training, processes, systems, marketing, and support and community, we believe Joe Homebuyer will become the largest home buying company in the nation. I believe that so strongly that I personally own several franchises, and right now as of this recording, I'm looking for my next rising star. If you're currently at level one and you're looking to transition to level two, and then keep going to the million dollar levels three and four, you may be a good fit to partner with me. Now you need to already be consistently doing deals every month and ready to scale. You also have to be the right fit culturally, but if that's you, I would partner with you, buy a Joe Home Buyer franchise, I'll handle all of the financials, including operating capital, marketing budgets, and cash management, so it costs you nothing. Then together with the Joe Home Buyer system and support, we build a million dollar operation. So if you think you might be a good fit, I'll put some info in the description below and we can set up a Zoom call to discuss in further detail. Now, finally, if you really wanna see what it takes to do a million dollars a month wholesaling houses, I did a live presentation where I break down in detail how the biggest wholesalers in the game operate their businesses. If you wanna create a killer vision for yourself, watch that video now and I'll see you on the next video.